So let's try this one. It says the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen to form water vapor has a heat of reaction or a standard enthalpy change, right, of negative 484 kilojoules. So let's write out what that means. Okay, so hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas goes to water gas. So first we've got to balance our equation, right? So two And then what we'll do is write at the end over here, delta H, whenever it's that, that's standard uh, conditions. So in this case, it's like the molar quantities. So negative 484 kilojoules. So is this reaction spontaneous or non-spontaneous? We can ask already. Spontaneous, right? Because it's negative. Okay, it's giving off heat. Um, it says, what is the energy in kilojoules for the reaction of 0.5 moles of hydrogen and 0.25 moles of oxygen at atmospheric pressure if the volume change is negative 5.6 liters? Okay, so that's a lot of information. But some things it's telling us are the number of moles. So we got the number of moles of hydrogen which is 0 0.50 moles hydrogen, and we got the number of moles of oxygen. Why do you think they gave us these two moles, numbers of moles? What do you think we got to figure out? What do we normally have to figure out when we're doing these types of things? Come on, guys. I know you guys know this. That's the first thing you always have to do. Mole ratio or conversion factor? Mole ratio of what and why? The reactants. But why? The limiting reagent is what you have to do, right? Yeah. So you have to figure out what the limiting reagent is first, right? So is there a limiting reagent here? So it says there's 0.5 moles of H2, 0.25 moles of O2, right? So let's figure it out. How would we figure it out? Well, we just multiply like this, right? So for every one mole of O2, we should look for two moles of H2. So cancel, cancel. So that equals what? 0 0.50 moles of H2. So, in this case, there's no limiting reagent. So now, uh, it says, what is the atmospheric, uh, so what is the standard atmospheric pressure? So the um, P external would be 1.00 atm. Okay. And it also gives us the change in volume which is negative 5.6 liters. Okay, so what else do we know? Is this equation based on 0.5 moles of hydrogen? Is this heat of reaction based on 0.5 mole, moles of hydrogen? How many moles is it based on? Two. Two moles, right? So we're going to have to find the delta H of the reaction. Does everybody understand what we're doing? Okay. So we've got 0 0.50 moles H2. And for every 2 moles of H2, we've got negative 484 kilojoules of energy. We get 
negative 121 kilojoules of energy for the heat of this particular reaction. Is everybody okay with that? So we now have to remember that delta H equals delta E plus um, P external times delta V, like that. So in this case, it's the delta H of the reaction that we just figured out. And now all we have to do is isolate the variable and plug and choke. So um, delta E is what we're looking for. So that's going to equal delta H minus P EXT times delta V. Everybody got that? Well, this is delta H of the reaction, sorry. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. Let's put it over here so we've got some more room. So delta H of the reaction, where, are we, where is that? It's here, right? 120, negative 121. So what have we got? Negative 121 kilojoules. Minus, so this is the way I like to do these ones. Big bracket like that. The P external, right, which is 1.00 ATM times delta V negative is 5.6 liters. So is ATM liters units of energy? It is, but can we add it to kilojoules or subtract it to kilojoules? So what do we got to do to it? Convert, convert it to kilojoules, okay? So in order to do that, you guys remember the conversion factor? Yeah, so 101.3 joules, right, times one, or is one liter ATM. So that'll cancel that, that, that. But this is still in joules, and we want it in kilojoules. Right? So 1,000 joules is one kilojoule. That's why I did those big brackets. Cancel, cancel, and now we're in kilojoules, right? Okay, so 1 times negative 5.6. Um, times 101.3 divided by 1,000. So notice, how many kilojoules is that? <coughs> Did anybody calculate it with me? Negative Not a single person? Five, seven. Yeah, okay, so five, negative six. 0.567, right? How, is that a big or small number relative to 121? Tiny, right? So that factor doesn't play a huge role. Remember we were talking about that earlier, how much of a role the PV term actually plays? Very tiny role. So let's write it out. Let's do it over here so we'll have a little bit more room. So negative 121 kilojoules. And then what, we're, what are we doing? Subtracting 0, well, we're subtracting, sorry. Subtracting a negative. Negative 0 0.567, we'll just say kilojoules, like that. So we'll be adding to it. So I got this number, negative 120, well, 0.43, right? But when we do our sig figs, it's going to be negative 120 kilojoules. Okay? So in this case, that's delta E, how much energy. Notice the amount of energy between delta H and delta E is very, yeah, the amount of difference is very tiny. Okay? Are there any questions on that one? 
So it's a pretty involved process. That's probably the one of the harder questions that you can get on this thing. <laughs>